I greet you in Jesus' precious name, and I want to ask you a question. Who is your guide? Who are you following? Who is leading you on your path? Psalm 119, verse 105, Thy word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. And I want to tell you, since that's happened in my life, things are going so much better. When I was a young man, before I accepted Christ as my Savior, you know, I would say, which way is the wind blowing? You know what you do? You wet your finger and you put it up and oh, the wind's blowing this way, so we'll go that way. And then tomorrow it's blowing this way, so we'll go that way. You never achieve anything and you never get anywhere. Speaking to a young man who's sitting there undecided. Do I leave? Do I stay? Do I take the job? Do I leave my job? Do I go to university or do I go to trade school? The Lord is your sure guide. If you go with me in the Word of God to the book of Isaiah in the Old Testament, Isaiah chapter 42 and just one verse, verse 16, listen to what the Word of God says. I will bring the blind by a way they did not know. I will lead them in paths they have not known. I will make darkness light before them and crooked places straight. These things I will do for them and not forsake them. Folks, we don't have to try and make a plan. The Lord Jesus Christ has already made the plan. Jesus leads us home to heaven. Remember, if you love the Lord, this is not your permanent home. You are a sojourner, a traveler in a foreign land. We are passing through three score and ten. That's what the Bible says, right? And if you have the strength, another ten. So 70 years plus ten. Yes, some of us live older than that. But that's the normal length of time. And then we go home to be with Jesus forever and ever in eternity. Okay? Escaping every danger in our path. God does that for us. You know, from the time that I gave my life to Christ, farming became much more simple for me. We still had the challenges, but we started doing things, things God's way. I want to encourage you to do the same thing. Don't just wing it. Don't just say, well, let's just try it and see if it works. The profit margin, not only in agriculture, in business is so small, you cannot afford to make a mistake. In the old days, you could give it a same try. You could try it three times to get it right. You can't do that anymore. You need to go to the Lord and you need to ask the, God, the Lord Jesus Christ to give you direction. And then you need to stick to it. We who put our hand in Jesus' hand will be very happy, right? My hand's in the Lord's hand all the time. So please lead me, Lord Jesus, for truly I do not know the way. The way is Jesus Christ. He says in John chapter 14 and verse 6, I am the way and the truth and the life and no one goes to the Father but by me. So we need to do it God's way. It makes it so easy. You say, Uncle Angus, I'm not sure whether I should marry that girl or whether I should leave it. Ask the Lord. The Lord will show you clearly. He says, Behold, I stand at the door and knock. And if you open the door, I'll come in and sup with you and you with me. The handle of the door is on the inside, right? So the Lord's standing at the door because he's a gentleman. He's waiting for you to open the door and say, Lord, please come in. I need direction. I need counsel. I need to know, is this lady going to be my wife or is she not? And God will show you through the Word of God, through other Christians, and He'll confirm it as many times as you like. Then you don't have to take a chance. Marriage is too important to take chances. And the same thing applies with so many areas in your life. Do it God's way and it will succeed. Until next time, goodbye. For more information, please visit AngusBucken.com dot com